Hi, I'm Linda and I'm going to tell you how to create visual notes. The traditional method is to use a large paper attached on the wall and draw as you listen to what's happening. But I create my notes on an iPad. How modern is that? So originally I made this presentation in Finnish, so that's why there are a couple of Finnish words written in the presentation. Hope you don't mind. So first, you need an iPad. I've got an iPad 2, which you can, of course, attach to a projector so that the audience can see what's happening on your canvas. If you happen to have a small gadget called Apple TV, you're able to do it wirelessly. Then you need a suitable app for drawing. I use an app called Adobe Ideas. It's got many features that I like. For example, I like how the app smoothens the lines as I draw. But there are many other options as well. Then you need a tool to draw with, either your own finger or a stylus pen. I use a target pen with a soft tip and it's rather handy, I think. Uh, then you figure out the starting point for your drawing. What you do is that you divide the canvas into sections, not really, but, but in your head, and then you choose a good starting point. Then you just fill in the canvas logically, or without any logic, as I tend to do. My style is namely pretty chaotic. The drawing process itself is handwork, rough handwork. So, so use your hands, fingers, your stylus pen, zoom in the details if you like, and if you don't like what you draw, you can always use the magical undo button, so that's a good friend while you're working. If you use Adobe Ideas, you're offered to purchase a set of layers. I do recommend those. That way you can place, for example, a photo underneath your drawing and draw directly on a photo. And when your sketch note is ready, you have a couple of possibilities to share it with the audience. You could, for example, share it via email as a PDF attachment. The quality on that one is so good that you could even print it out just like that. You could also copy the drawing to the iPad gallery, which allows you to move the drawing to Dropbox, or, as I do, to Pastor's blog. Of course, I have my Twitter account attached to the blog, so that way I also market my sketch notes right away. And uh, this is how simple it is to create visual notes on an iPad and with a stylus pen. That's it. Thanks for listening, and visit my website if you're interested in what I do.